Hello students, how are you all? I hope you are happy and healthy. As you all know, we are studying direct and reported indirect speech. And we have started yesterday the concept of direct and indirect reported speech. Today we are going to learn how to change direct to indirect speech. It's having three rules that we have discussed yesterday. And today we are going to start to learn what is first rule, what is second rule and what is third rule of making direct to indirect reported speech. So let's start learning the rules. Before going to learn the rules, we should revise or we should uh, remind ourselves that what are direct and reported indirect speech. So children, as we have discussed direct speech, saying exactly what someone has said is called direct speech sometimes called quoted speech. Here what a person says appears within quotation mark or means uh, inverted commas and should be word for word. For example, I am going to the cinema, he said. Now here you can see the dialogues is written inside the inverted commas. So that is called direct speech. Now indirect speech, indirect speech or reported speech reports what a speaker said without using the exact words. When we report what another person has said, we usually do not use the speaker's exact words or you can say the direct words. But reported or indirect speech, therefore, you need to learn how to transform direct speech into reported speech. So therefore, you need to learn how to transform direct speech into reported speech. Uh, so as you all know, this is our topic of today. And today we are going to learn the rules of transform direct to indirect speech. So, there are three rules while changing from direct to indirect of a statement like statements, like sentences. So, uh, our rule number one is change of tense. As we know that there are three tenses, uh, present tense, past tense and future tense. And each tense having their four parts. Uh, so simple present tense, present continuous tense, present perfect tense and present perfect continuous tense. So let's learn how to change direct to indirect sentence. First rule of changing that is change of tense. If the reporting verb in the direct speech statement is in present tense or future tense, then it remains same in indirect speech too. No change in tense. So always remember what is reporting verb. It means who is telling something that person or that uh, mm, man or woman are called reporting verb. Now here you, if you, we are going to see that uh, it is written in this uh, example, my friend says he is very handsome. Now here you can see says, says it is in simple present tense or you can say present tense. So 
it cannot be changed in indirect speech or we are not going to change into tense so my friend says similarly we have written over here my friend says that he is very handsome now no changes over there only uh, we have omit that uh, inverted commas and we just added over here that so no change in present tense if the reporting verb is written in present tense now let's see the next example my granny will say you need to eat well now here we can see that my granny will say so it is written in future tense in future tense so my granny will see you need to eat uh, you need to eat well now in indirect speech when we are going to make it so we are not going to change in reporting speech or reporting verb we just only omit the inverted commas and in place of inverted commas we have to put that so let's see my granny will say that you need to eat well exactly what is written in the diet speech we have uh, already we are uh, going to write that my granny will say that you need to eat well only we have added over here that and we just remove these inverted commas my granny will say that you need to eat well that's all so if the reporting verb is written in the direct speech statement is in the present or future tense then it remains same in the indirect speech to no change in tenses so this you always keep in your mind now children let's learn that uh, if the reporting verb is in the past tense suppose it is written ram said so ram said said here you can see it is in the past tense say said now if the reporting verb is in the past tense in the direct speech statement then the verbs within the inverted commas will change in the indirect statement so this is this is the rule that you just always keep in your mind when when if the reporting verb is in the past tense in the direct speech statement then the verbs within the inverted commas will change in indirect speech statements so what are the changes we are going to do that am or is if it is written uh in the uh, verb then inverted comma which is written that if it is written am or is so we will change in was if it is written are we are going to change in were do and does will become did have and has become had will become would and can become could i'll give you examples for that but you just learn this table because this is very important for you whenever we are uh, writing or making direct to indirect speech if the reporting verb is in the past tense in the direct speech statement then the verbs within the inverted commas will change in the indirect speech statement so here you can see am if it is written am and is it will change into was if it is written are so it will change into were if it is written do and does so it will change in did have and has to had will to would can to could so 
This table you must learn because this is very important table to change direct to indirect speech. So, so write it down or take a screenshot. Now I would like to give you few examples. So simple present tense and simple past tense. As it is narrated over here that simple present tense or described over here simple present tense to simple past tense. So that this table you just always keep it right. If it is written simple present tense we will change in reported speech simple past tense. So let's see the examples which are given. Mira said I go to school. Now here you can see uh, Mira said. Now said it is written said. Said means it is past tense. Mira said I go to school. Now or I go to school it means here it is present tense. Why present tense? Because I go to school. It is not written I went to school. So I go to school in the inverted commas. So here we are going to change in reported speech that Mira said that she went to school. So you just notice over here it is written in simple present tense. So I go to school it is written in simple present tense and reporting verb is written in past tense. So we are going to change Mira said it will remain same. We have removed or omit these inverted commas and we just added over here that and I go so in the place of I we have already written she as we have discussed earlier and in place of go we are going to write went to school. So this is how we can change if it is written in simple present tense in inverted commas speech we will change in past tense. So let's see the next example. They said we went at work. They said we went at work. It means it is written in past tense and it is also written in past tense. So the sentence inside the inverted commas or reporting speech it is written in past tense. We went at work. So simple past tense will change in past perfect tense. So always keep in your mind whenever we are changing direct to indirect speech that if it is written in simple present tense it will change into simple past tense. That first rule we have discussed. Now this is the second thing that we are going to discuss that if it is written simple past tense it will become or we will write in past perfect tense. So this is the rule you just keep in your mind. They said we went at work. It means it is written in past tense. Went is the second form of go. Go went gone. So went over here past tense. So now what we are going to do to make direct to indirect speech it is written direct so we are going to make indirect speech how we will make they said that they had gone at work now here you can see they said that they had gone at work. 
So this is indirect speech. Now here they said will remain same. Then we just removed over here inverted commas and we have added over here that. And after that they had gone. The past tense become past perfect tense over here. So that is why we have used had and then third form of the verb. So go, went, gone. The third form of the verb is go is gone. So that is why we have used they had gone at work. So we have done this and we have we have uh, we just make it in they had gone at work so we we uh, just convert in past perfect tense they had gone at work so here you can see the changes in tenses now let's see the next example of making direct to reported speech that is if it is written in simple present tense it will change in simple past tense that we have discussed so uh, here you can see Meera said I go to school Meera said that she went to school they said we went at work they said that they had gone at work now here uh, that we have already discussed now here we are going to learn uh, the second rule of changing in tenses that is continuous present tense will change in reported speech continuous past tense. Now let's see Meera said I am going to school. Now here you can see it is written in present continuous tense. I am going to school. Now when we are going to change in reported speech, so what we will do, we just remove that inverted commas in place of inverted commas. We have added over here that. So reporting verb will be remain same, Mira said. And that we have added. And what we are going to change? I am going to school. So it will become she was going to school. So here you can say the continuous present tense change into continuous past tense. So Meera said that she was going to school. Now uh, this you always keep in your mind whenever it is written Ram said um, I am cutting vegetable so it will be change in Past continuous tense in reported speech, Ram said that he was cutting the vegetable. So that you always keep in your mind, whenever we are changing direct to reported speech, we will change it continuous present tense in continuous past tense. Now next we are going to change, we are going to see the change of tenses that if it is written in direct speech present perfect tense so we will change in perfect past tense so let's see the example they said we have finished the work now here you can see it is written we have finished so it is written in present perfect present perfect tense they said we have finished the work now here if we are going to write in reported speech or indirect speech so what we are going to do they said that they had finished the work it means we just change in past perfect tense. So it is written in present perfect tense and we have to change in past perfect tense. 
So what we will going to write? They said that they had finished the work. Now here you can see they had. It will become they had. In place of have, we just turn or we just change. They had finished will be remain same. They had finished the work. So what we have learned that simple present tense will change in simple past tense. Pa present continuous tense will change in past continuous tense and present perfect tense will change in past perfect tense in reported speech. So that three rules we have discussed and we have seen lot of examples also. So I hope it is clear to you and uh, you have understood that how to change present to past in reported speech. Now let's see the new thing that if it is written in the direct speech past perfect tense. So it will remain past perfect. That you do always keep in your mind. You just understand that if it is written in past perfect tense. He said, I hadn't gone there. He said, I hadn't gone there. So here you can see it is written in past perfect tense. So it will change. We just removed over here to making indirect speech and we have only changed that inverted commas we have removed and we just added over here he said it will remain same and uh, uh, here we have not uh, he said that it is missing over here that's I am going to write over this he said that he hadn't gone there it means we have only change in pronouns. He said that he hadn't gone there. It is written in the negative uh, tense, uh, sentence. So he said that he hadn't gone there. And here in the direct speech we have seen, he said I hadn't gone there. So I become he. He said he hadn't gone there. So that is, that is how we will change in past perfect to past perfect tense. Now uh, we will see the future tense. So if the direct speech it is written in future tense. So how we are going to change? So it will become conditional would. So Kea said I will come on Monday. So here you can see it is written in future tense. future tense and uh, when we are going to write in indirect speech we just change in the conditional will become would. Kea said that she would come on Monday. Only we just need to change only and only will and pronoun as we all know we should change and now here would. So will become would over here, shall become should over here, can become could. So we will study about the models also. So here we just only change future will become conditional would and the pronoun will be changed. So let's see the models. As you all know, these are our auxiliaries models and how we are going to change in indirect speech if it is written in direct speech models. So can become could, may become might. So let's see, she said I can go to the party tonight. So if we are going to write in indirect speech what we are going to do? She said that she could 
go to the party that night. So, tonight become that night and can become could. Now here we can see the changes. She said will remain same. Now inverted comma we have already omitted whenever we are making the indirect speech. We should, we must remove uh, inverted commas. Then she said that it is missing over here. We are just going to add. She said that she could go to the party that night. Now can become could over here. In the next, now the next example we are going to see model change that may become might. The kid said we may go to school. Now here you can see the kid said that they might go to school. So here we are going to see that that is missed. So we are just going to add that. The kid said that they might go to school may become might over here. So in direct speech if it is written may we will change in might if it is written cad, can so we will change in could. So these are the changes in the models. Now as we have studied that changes in tense so simple present tense become uh, simple past tense in direct to di indirect speech and past continuous tense will become uh, present continuous tense will become past continuous tense and uh, present perfect will become past perfect tense in, in direct to indirect speech and we have seen the changes in the model also can become could and may become might. And future tense we have discussed that will become would. So let's see rule number two the change of pronouns. Whenever we are making direct to indirect speech, so what we are going to do that we have, we must change in pronoun also. So uh, that we have already noticed in our earlier rules. So let's see change of pronouns. So personal pronouns change according to SON formula. It means subject, object and no change. So this is a very short form which is written over here. Personal pronoun change according to SON formula. SON formula means subject, object and no change. Now uh, what is the SON formula? That is subject, object and no change. The first person subject, second person object and third person no change. If subject of the quoted word, words is in the first person that it will change according to the subject of the reported verb. So I am going to give you one example. He said to her I like coffee. So it will change because it is written in the first person. I it is written in the first person. So that that is why it will change according to the subject of the reported verb. So, he told, he told her that he likes coffee. Now here you can see, he told her that he likes. So, I change into he. So, accordingly, it will change the reporting verb, the subject of the reporting verb. So if it is written he, so we will change accordingly into he because of the reporting verb. We will change. So 
So rule number one is that if subject of the quoted word is in the first person that it will change according to the subject of the reported speech. So here you have seen I like I like coffee. Now I over here it is written in first person. So it will change in indirect speech according to the reported verb. Reported verb it means who is reporting this dialogue. So it will call reported verb. Now here it is written he said to her. So now the reported verb is here he. So he told her that he liked coffee. So why like become like because we have discussed that if it is written in simple present tense we are going to change in simple past tense. So here we just pay attention on personal pronoun change according to SON formula first person if it is written reported speech in first person so we will change according to the subject if the reported speech is written in second person so we will change according to the object if it is written in the third person so we are not going to change so first thing we have discussed if the reported or the inverted commas uh, speech is written in first person so we will change in uh, uh, sub, uh, pronouns according to the subject. So today we have discussed uh, children um, tenses how to change uh, direct to indirect speech and how to change in tenses that we have discussed let's revise what we have learned today that we have learned that if it is written simple present tense we will change in simple past tense if the direct speech is written in simple past tense so we will make in the third rule we have discussed that if the in direct speech is written in uh, present perfect tense so we will change in past perfect tense and uh, uh, second rule we have started today that uh, rules of changing pronouns and we have discussed about SON formula and first formula we have discussed if the subject uh, is in the, or you can see the speech it is written in inverted comma with st uh, will start it with first person so we will change accordingly to the subject so that we have discussed today and uh, tomorrow we will discuss the other formulas other rules of changing direct to indirect speech so that's all for today children uh, revise this because this is very important topic for you that is why we, uh, if the teacher is giving you some rules that you should practice on that. So till then bye bye and take care.